talking about cleft palates today. Cleft palates, what, when do you get them? Why do you get them? What do you do about them? So what the heck is a cleft palate? So a cleft palate is an opening in the palate of the mouth that typically runs from all the way from the gum line back towards the back of the top of the roof of the mouth. And it's an opening that you can visibly see. And whenever you have puppies, you need to take a flashlight and look in their mouth, look at the palate. Ask your vet to double check. Yes, but I mean, well, of course, the vet too, but also if you have the mattress at home, you've got to then you're relying on you. Well, we always check our dogs cleft palate. So this is an opening in the roof of the mouth and what happens with the cleft palate is the puppy appears to be completely okay but you will find that puppy cannot suckle. And the reason it can't suckle is there's an opening between its nasal passages and the roof of its mouth that means that when it tries to <laughs> suck like that air goes through its nose and it can't suck. And because of that it can't feed and can't get sucked. So because of that that puppy Unless you do something heroic, that puppy's not going to survive. So, the first question is, why do you get cleft palates? Well, we've had cleft palates, and we don't have a history of cleft palates in our dogs. But just every now and then, the cleft palate shows up. I mean, it's not very often, but I mean, when you see it, it's... last time we had a cleft palate. That's a long, long time ago. But, but people, you know, people start saying, oh, cleft palate, that's a hereditary thing. Look, it's like human beings. Human babies can have a cleft palate, they, they can repair those, um, and uh, so it happens occasionally in families where nobody's had a, a cleft palate for generations. But if you had a whole litter, let's get a pound. If you had a litter where half the whole litter, you know, six dogs and three had cleft palates, I'd say that's in a hereditary condition, and that would be of concern. And certainly, you would not want to mate those two dogs together again. And if that dog, female, then produced more cleft palates, or the male did, you probably don't want to use them, period. So, we've not been in that situation. But so then the next thing is, what do you do about a cleft palate? And, uh, Sometimes if they're small enough, you can, the vet can repair them when they reach a certain age. These people do. Oh, I think they're... Or Amy here. That's a kind of weird, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, people on the road here. Yeah. Um, so we've had one cleft palate that was in a front, well, it was really a hair lip, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it was a So we had a, a dog with a hair lip. the gum. Yeah, it was the gum, the teeth, yeah. well, it wasn't any teeth yet, but where the gum ridge was and the lip was split. And they, that... They repaired that. They did. That dog, that dog went on to be absolutely fine. Yeah. But it did take surgery at about seven weeks old to fix it, because you can't just sew it together. That's you, about, what, seven years ago? Yeah, quite, quite a long time. Yeah. So that dog, that dog completely survived the, the cleft palate. But we have had other dogs that have had a cleft all the way towards the back. And what you have to do with a cleft palate dog is you have to tube feed the dog. And I can tell you this, our success rate with the few cleft palates we've had, tube feeding them, has been a big fat freaking zero. I've, we have not, I've, I've heard of people pulling them through, but... We have done it. And if we've got incubators and oxygen and what's happened to those dogs, is you tube feed them because you can't bottle feed them. Well, back then, we didn't have them. No, true. No, that's right. We've got a better equipped to handle it these days. Right. We'll go about that. But, but the, the thing here is you are going to have to tube feed the dog. And you're going to have to tube feed that dog every three hours to have a hope of making it. This dog's fine. And what we've seen happen is those dogs don't grow, grow very well. They tend to be small dogs. They continue to be small and they finally get the sinus infection because they get food and stuff up into their sinus cavity. They then get a big bad infection and you put antibiotics on board and they die. So if a vet says to you, this dog's got a really big cleft palate and he says, do you want us to just kind of take care of it? I think unfortunately the right answer is you say to that, yeah, please do that. It's a heartbreaking thing. I hate it when you have to face this situation, but I think it's better off for everybody you probably do that. So other people are going to chime in on this and say what their experiences are, but our experiences are not being very good with that balance. Um, so, and I'm not saying that you should necessarily follow our advice and decide that that dog doesn't need to survive, but that's typically what the vet will tell you, and I think it, it probably is the right answer. But if you want to give it a shot, see what you can do, be prepared for some heartache, but I fully understand the person wanting to do the best they possibly can for the dog. So, just to reiterate, the hair lip, fixable. A cleft that goes all the way to the back of the roof of the mouth. 
it has to be fixed much later on. You can't do surgery on a dog that's a few days old. You've got to put this dog under to do it, and you've got to be able to intubate the dog, and that's not happening. The dog is probably, and if there's any vets listening, they can chime in on it too. But I think the dog's got to be at least five months old before you've got the open hang of doing any kind of surgery on this. And, you know, that dog is then a marked dog at that point. It's going to be... It's sooner than that, but it gets fixed. You think it can be sooner than that? Yeah. Tammy's saying sooner, so there's some vets out there looking at this, you tell us what you think is wrong, or if you've had experience with it being fixed, let us know what you did, because our experience with this has been not very good at all. So, Clef Palette's not a good deal, is it? Is it? Is it the end of your of your dog ever breeding again? Probably not. Um, but certainly, if you bred two dogs and you've got Clef Palette, I would not breed those two dogs again. Anyway, there we go, two cents worth. Um, subscribe to us if you like it. Answer these questions for other people. That's great to go get information back. And uh, Tammy, say goodbye to these people.